In this lesson, I'll show you how to evaluate composite functions using a graph. In our very first part, we have f composed of g at 4. To do this, we first have to find out what g at 4 is according to this graph. Once we find out its output, we then place its output, whatever it is, into f. So let's find out what g at 4 is. g is this linear equation with a negative slope g at 4 is negative 2. So I'll place negative 2 into here. f at negative 2, it's a parabola. Negative 2 is right here. Its output is positive 2. So the answer for the first one is 2. For question b, we have g composed of f at negative 3. So let's find out what f at negative 3 is. At negative 3, we have an f value that is 5 right here. Now we find out what g at 5 is. g at 5 will be negative 3. So the answer is negative 3 for question b. Now we have f composed of f. So f at negative 1, according to this graph, is 1. And now we find out what f at 1 is. f at 1 is 5. Very nice. Okay, question D, the very last one, G composed of G at 4. So let's find out what G at 4 is first. G at 4 happens to be negative 2. And now, G at negative 2, moving over here, we have a positive output at 4. And there you have it. That is how to evaluate composite functions using a graph.